You are fake news. Fake news. What do you think? This is the Fake News Watch, your alternative news source without the alternative facts. I'm Kaylee Fagan. Today we're going to talk about a journalist's obligation to serve the public and the ways someone can replicate journalism without making this their first priority. We'll focus on the author from the article from episode one, a very prolific man named Mike Adams who is responsible for an entire empire of fake news websites. There's a ton to unpack here, so let's jump right in. As far as I can tell, Mike Adams became the Dr. Oz of the internet by running a site called News Target and later a sister site called Natural News. Natural News is widely criticized as being a disseminator of dangerous, unscientific, health-related conspiracy theories, including the widely disproven connection between vaccines and autism, the assertion that cancer is curable through a healthy diet, and good old global warming denialism. News Target, which has mostly transitioned to covering national news and politics, features its own fair share of conspiracies, ranging from Hillary Clinton's various schemes to rig the election to the new telepathy technology that Mark Zuckerberg is apparently building to help the NSA read your mind. Now, where it starts to get suspicious is that we've uncovered a network of at least 20 websites that are all run by Mike Adams and a select handful of other writers. These sites often use their sister websites as sources in their stories or even post clones of certain stories on multiple places. But all of these sites that we've seen so far display ads for the Health Ranger store, where you can buy a huge variety of stuff mostly related to alternative medicine and is, of course, owned by Mike Adams. So it makes perfect sense that this guy would create website after website, many with the exact same WordPress layout, populate them with clickbaity stories of little substance, and then provide himself with free ad space for his Himalayan pink salt, turmeric gold liquid extract, pumpkin protein powder, and freeze-dried corn. But unfortunately, we're not even halfway through all this content. Mike Adams also produces satire, comic strips, has a pretty impressive list of books, and even writes utterly repulsive raps about the dangers of vaccines and big pharma, and then animates and stars in the equally repulsive music videos. Everyone else, I'm a vaccine zombie, zombie. Do you hear it? It's getting closer. When I took the shot, then my face turned blue. I started feeling hot inside, but I didn't have a clue what to do. But my favorite rendition of this guy's opinion are his regularly recorded podcasts, where he pretty much outs himself as a clickbait machine rather than a journalist. Let's listen to a few of my favorite clips from a recent podcast that he posted along with the video we talked about in episode one. This just shows the complete lunacy of the left on parade yet again. We have every right to reject refugees that might be terrorists. <laughs> it's just it's so typical of the unhinged left is mentally deranged. I mean, mentally ill, like they need to be, take these people to the psych wards while the rest of us defend the borders, okay? If you'd like to help support this video and other videos like this, visit healthrangerstore.com where everything we sell is laboratory tested for heavy metals and more. Regardless of how you feel about the travel ban, Donald Trump or Democrats, that's pretty painful to listen to. And those clips alone violate just about every rule of journalistic ethics that exists. And those do exist, by the way. This show pulls a lot of our inspiration from it. You'll find a link to the official code of ethics prescribed by the Society of Professional Journalists in the video description. The goal here is not to talk crap about this wildly successful writer. You know, con man or not, this guy seems to love what he does, and I'm fairly certain he makes a lot of money doing it. I even reached out to him with the intention of understanding his network of news sites better, but unfortunately he hasn't replied to my request for comment. My intention in pointing to all these semi-funny, semi-creepy aspects of his empire is to show you that not everyone with an official-looking news website or stunningly handsome headshots has your best intentions in mind. People like Mike Adams are not looking to help you get a better understanding of the world. They're certainly not looking to serve the public. They're creating the most dramatic, most sensational content possible by being hateful, offensive, and often just plain false so you'll click on their ads or buy from their online store. And with that in mind, please remember to support accurate, verifiable news and flag anything that might look a little fishy. Long story short, seek the truth and share it.